Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk about Thought Graph Refresh job. So this is one of our job that basically keeps all of our packages fresh. So there are number of cron jobs that we run in Thought. As you saw in the previous demo, we have like number of different components that we run. So one of them is Thought Graph Refresh job. So what we do with Graph Refresh job is basically take all of the packages that we have in our DB and try to check if some of them are unsolved or some of them need to be like analyzed for security and basically some of them need to be run with the reverse solver which you would have seen in a previous demo so previously this job was a cron job which we ran basically every two hours and we checked for unsolved messages unsolved packages and we checked for packages that need to be run for the reverse solver and now with as we are moving most of our components to the messaging way we have turned graph refresh job to a producer and with that we have added a new kind of message that is the security message so we check for all of these packages which have previously solved but also not checked for security because security was a new component that we added later and now the graph refresh job supports that answer, yes, and yes. so now we are having the security messages also and we run this as a cron job for now and like we send out these messages which are handled by our other component that's called the investigator and we are we now support all of these messages in the investigator and we process them serially so this is as this is supposed to increase our scalability and as you can see this is there in the production right now and we see all of these new messages coming in from graphics job about the packages that needs to be solved for security, for example, Jax here. And yes, that's all the update I had. If you guys have any questions about the same. Mm. We've talked about metrics uh, before. Um, do we know how many messages flow through our system? Do we have some kind of histogram? Can we easily do that? Or is Kafka not exposing these uh, things? Uh, we do collect, like uh, we were previously collecting metrics for like number of jobs we are running, but right now we can collect metrics on the investigator side, I guess, as a consumer, how many messages we will see. Uh, yeah, so I, I can actually answer part of that too, because once it was working and then I moved to um, asynchronous functions so that we could wait for um, workflow limits. Uh, and when I moved to async, um, all of those metrics disappeared from the uh, metric server, uh, the metrics page. So um, that's kind of an issue right now. We did We did have it, but it's gone. This is metrics of the producer of the messages, right? No, this is for metrics of the investigator, the consumer. Ah, for the producer, the idea, I mean, the next last step, it should be to become an Argo Chrome workflow. And then we can yeah. have the same thing that we have for a workflow. So basically we will have the same thing we see, but uh, in a dashboard or in a Grafana dashboard, yeah, or Superset dashboard. I guess they should I'm be more quite looking straightforward. Yeah, and I guess I'm looking for a lower level. Like, like, can't we simply take the Kafka broker metrics? I don't know if it has metrics or not, but can't we simply count the the messages per type? Let's let's have a look at that. Because yeah, just because I I, I want to know how much stuff is going through the system and how much um, data is generated by the messaging because um, if we want to persist that data we need some disk i guess but we should think about uh, the size of the messages and stuff like that and the re retention time to um, forecast some disk size but okay um, it's it's not uh, really critical. It's more like an operational um, insight that we could gain. I think both uh, metrics would be available here on on workflow levels uh, side as well as on on Kafka because these should yes. match. So if there's some discrepancy, we see there. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, well, well um, any... no, just thinking that uh, 
one component, for example, imagine, for example, package release today was releasing 45,000 messages. Uh, I don't know if an uh, investigator will yeah, their schedule all of them in the same time. So you will see that uh, 45,000 have been messages have been created, but then consumed, it will be always, if you look at the in time, you will see something that goes down slowly. Um, so the matching thing, uh, let's see. But uh, yes, the number should be all there at the end in, in theory. But I guess uh, the the difference between the created messages and the the consumed messages should be some multiple of the learning rate, shouldn't it? Yes, or if we are um, limiting uh, investigator as well, or yes. if the cluster is limiting the workflows as well. Um, yes. So so really. Limits. Really doing a consistency check seems to involve some mathematics as we need to figure out what is really the rate of generating or producing and consuming the messages. Um, so that might be a little bit trickier, but the low level Kafka stuff um, seems to be interesting to me uh, from an operational point of view. And I guess if we look at the application, if we just see stuff piling up, it, it seems to be a matter of an alert that needs to be raised, yeah. What, what we should be able to see is uh, if we are able to process these, these messages. So if they are queued, uh, yeah. there is possibility of getting uh, them lost. So uh, we should yes. be able to consume messages with at the same pace as, as produced. That means also... Yes that we can, for example, 45,000 messages of package release means 45,000 solvers to be run, which will not run in quite some time they will run, I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe yeah. we will lose them because the, if we have just uh, 12 hours retention, some of them might get Exactly. So, um, sounds to me like uh, we should invest a little bit into the um, mechanics of uh, Kafka messages and stuff like that. Um, A, uh, we're not persisting these messages right now. Um, we, we want them or we want to replay them for certain situations. Um, so we should think about um, retention time. If you hear the sheer amount of messages uh, being generated, retention time might be interesting. And again, a disk size, if we want to persist them to disk, how large is a disk? Is it more like one gigabyte or more like 10 gigabytes or what, what do we need? Sounds like we, we should um, have a look at that in next or next, next uh, sprint. Ah, sigh. Uh, any other question to Zai and the uh, graph refresh job? Cool. Thanks, Zai.